What's up, guys? It's Jeremy Duane here. And, uh, yes, no shirt. Get over it. Um, but, rocking some George hair. Uh, inside joke, for those that know, you're awesome. Um, anyways, uh, wanted to record a quick vlog before I go to bed. And, yes, I realize how ironic that is, saying, before I go to bed. And, this is what time it is. That may be backwards, but it says 9.08 a.m. Yes. That has been my, my kind of the time that I've been going to bed every day. And then I wake up at like noon. And then I'm busy pretty much all day. Every day. Um, I wanted to, wanted to do some clarification. Um... When I, when I said that I, I take care of my grandpa, my dad takes care of him in the morning from whenever he wakes up till like noonish. And then I take the afternoon shift from, from noon till cat. I don't know if you can see him. This is Roscoe. What's up, bud? Yeah, I know you wanted to be in the vlog. <sighs> Anyways, so I take the afternoon shift from, from like noon till like 5 p.m. or whenever, you know, someone gets home. And anyways, let's set that down. Anyways, you know, it's not like it's, it's, you know, 100% the whole day. But, um, essentially I, I'm with my grandpa all afternoon from when I wake up till, uh, you know, when my parents get home, and then I get to start doing work on stuff. Buddy, hey, look at the camera. Don't be stupid. All right. Um, but anyways, so I'm, you know, I, I don't get anything done until, um, you know, someone comes home. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not blaming anything on him. You know, it's my own fault that I don't have a day job. Uh, it is kind of an excuse to not get a job, which I'm okay with. Um, but, uh, you know, the other reason why I'm, I'm not getting a job is because I'm also playing around with the idea of going back to school in the spring. Um, actually, that reminds me that I need to call the colleges that I went to previously to get transcripts transferred um, <clears throat> some people are kind of curious how old am I well I actually celebrated my 21st birthday on September 15th um, yep yeah, that's my birthday so hey you all missed my birthday shame on you um, but um, I'm not a partier I don't drink I don't smoke I kind of keep to myself, well, somewhat, my cats keep me company, but, um, crazy old guy with cats, oh no, I'm not crazy cat guy, uh, I need to fix that, uh, I am planning on going back to school, but I don't know if I'm going to or not, uh, some people are curious as to what I plan on doing, and I was thinking um, of going to school to become a radio broadcaster, because I like to think that I have talent in that area, uh, commenting, commentating, I don't know, whatever, um, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking going to school for that, I don't know if I'm actually going to go into that field, but uh, it seems to be the trend that people say, get a degree, doesn't matter what in as long as you kind of enjoyed going to school for it. And then, you know, companies just want to see that you have a four-year degree that you uh, stuck to something, and, like, you didn't give up on it. And so far, I've given up on two universities that I were that I was completely enrolled in, and three if you include the, the one that I was most recently checking out. Um, I was... This most recent one, I was enrolled as a special student, meaning 
not fully enrolled, but I was like taking a class. I was taking two classes, and I dropped out of that. I dropped out of those like within two weeks because I realized that I didn't like math. And <laughs> here's a new fl news flash for you guys: computer science is all math. <laughs> I love computers. I like I like coding stuff, but I never took calculus. I didn't really take much math in high school, and, you know, I could do it, I could learn it, oh my goodness, I could do it, and I could learn it, but I don't care enough to do it, uh, so I, I got out of that, um, I like, I like building computers, I like, I like the hardware side of, of it, not, not really so much the software, software seems to give me issues, and I don't like debugging, Ugh, I need to shave my beard. What do you guys think? Give this video a likes up, a thumbs up if you like the beard. Thumbs down if you think the beard should be trimmed. I won't get rid of it. We already discussed that. Uh, the beard is here to stay. But, if you think it's in need of a shave, you might uh, trim it up. Now, the reason why... I, I really need to, um, today's kind of marking the day that I have decided that I need to start losing weight again. So I am doing more healthy stuff. I've cut out soda. I know, Mountain Dew. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. Um, cut out soda. You know, I did, I did a diet at the beginning of 2011, and... For those that are aware of of the book, um, it's called the Four Hour Body. Uh, it was written by the same guy that wrote the Four Hour Work Week, and it's a brilliant book. But um, you know, I was doing that diet, and I was like, "Yeah, this is awesome. This is great. I'm seeing the wonderful results." And you know, I was cool with it. And then I was like, "Hey, Dad, you should check this out. It's a pretty awesome diet." And he's like, "Yeah, this is awesome." And he got really hardcore into it, like really hardcore. Like I was just like. This is pretty cool. You know, I'm losing weight. I like this diet. It's awesome. And then my dad took it to the next level. He's like, all time, every day, you know, no cheat days, you know. <laughs> the cheat day. The cheat day is what, what got me, you know, I was I was cool with, with, the, uh, with the diet because it's a cheat day. You know, a cheat day where you can pick out and eat whatever you want. And, and those days were amazing. I would eat so much junk food. And guess what? I still lost 30 pounds. I lost... 30 pounds, no, 26 pounds, almost 30 pounds, 26 pounds I lost, and since then, I've gained back the 26 and, like, an additional four, <laughs> so, not good, <laughs> um, so, yeah, call me fatty, go, go ahead, just do it, call me fatty, because I don't care, for one, and two, I'm gonna do something about it, I, I plan on losing the weight, so, um, the plan... The plan is, step one, cut out all soda. That means a lot more water. Ugh, I hate water. But that also means cutting out tea. And I'll tell you one thing, sweet tea is my favorite drink. Mountain Dew and sweet tea are like, oh, I love them. That's the other thing. You know, the school that I'm looking at is in South Carolina, so it's like, oh, for sweet tea. But uh, we'll have to... We'll have to work it out. So, cut out pop, cut out tea, well, wean it off. Because pretty much I have a cup, a cup of tea in my hands all day, every day. I drink about a gallon a day. So, what I plan on doing with the tea is cutting down the amount of sugar that I put in it. And then, you know, gradually get that down to either just a little bit of sugar or unsweetened. And then from there... Um, maybe cut it out, you know, like start having, like start drinking less of it every day, you know. Um, one, one thing that the diet allotted was one can of diet soda a day or whatever. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that my, my can of soda a day would be like a cup of tea or a can of Mountain Dew, you know, something like that. But when you cut out sugar, it's it's crazy. Like, 
you lose weight so fast. It's 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 crazy. Plus, I don't recommend just cutting out soda completely. You see the light? Can you see the light? He's looking at these lights. And he's like, I want them. They must die. Get them. You too lazy? You don't want to get up? Fat kitty. Anyways, um, it's it's bad. Don't don't cut out Mountain Dew like instantly. I went from drinking a twelve pack a day to just nothing. And I'll tell you one thing, it was bad. Two thousand eleven, like the first three months. Whew, don't want to do that again. But I I don't drink that much Mountain Dew anymore. Um, I drink like. Well, I mean, I haven't had a Mountain Dew in a long time, but. Um, I drink like a can or two every couple days, so it's not that bad. But the tea, the tea's where I'm, where it's, it's getting bad. Because I drink that all the time, every day. So, that's kind of the first step. Cut out that, and then eventually, uh, once I, I'm happy with that, I'm going to add in the food side where I'm watching what I'm eating. Like, I'm, like as I'm cutting out the soda and, and, and tea, I'm gonna be also watching what I'm eating, like how much I'm eating. Um, Cause anything is okay if you eat it in portions, like if you don't eat that much. Sorry I'm being quiet, there's people upstairs. My, my parents and my grandpa, they're, they're awake and I don't want to disturb them. So I'm trying to be quiet. Um, but, yeah, portions, watch the portions. And then from there, my plan is to actually watch what I'm eating. Not just how much, but watch and, like, eat good stuff. Um, basically the diet that I, that I followed was, um, good fats, not, not bad fats, good fatty foods, um, high protein, low carb. Uh, not no carb, but low carb. You want to have some carbs because and good carbs. Uh, you want to have some carbs. You want to have some good carbs and some good fats, because cutting it out completely is bad. It's bad. Atkins diet. You suck. You're bad for people. So um, low carb, low fat. Not low fat, but good fat. High protein. So a lot of beans, a lot of meats. That's it. <laughs> I mean, to be frank, that's that's it. And no sugar. No sugar at all. Sleepy cat is sleepy. The internet likes cats. I think this vlog's gonna do well because I featured a cat in it. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's kind of it. Also, exercise. Um, I did a quick thing today. Uh, to try to help me fall asleep, but I don't think it's going to work because I'm kind of wired right now. I don't know why, uh, which is why I'm making, making this vlog. Um, so exercise, uh, I like to ride my bike, so I think I'm going to try doing that tomorrow. Um, I was actually thinking about doing it today, but because I did my little workout, um, I'm kind of tired and by workout, I mean, I did some push-ups, I did some sit-ups, I did some jogging in place. You know, easy stuff, but really fast, high repetition. Nope. Going to bed over there? Sick of being in the vlog? I understand. Uh, yeah, high, high repetition. Like, not high repetition, but high speed. You know, you want to do it as fast as you can, or as long as you can, and then stop. You know, nice and short stuff. That's that's the best. That's the best way to to lose weight and to stay in shape. I know all this stuff. It's just getting my laziness to overcome that and do it. That's my problem. Which is where you guys come in hand. I'm thinking that you guys could be accountability for me, kind of. I don't know. I'm sure there's some of you guys out there that are like. 
I like to work out. I like to watch what I eat. I like to lose weight. And you are my trainer. <laughs> you guys are the ones calling me fat. That's cool. Keep doing it because it's going to keep motivating me. Um, no, I'm, I have a friend. His name is Jake. And he's a pretty awesome guy. I think he, I can't remember where he lives, but um, he's really big into working out. And I met him on Diablo 3. He actually joined my live stream once. And he was like, how do I stream? I want to stream. And, and I taught him how to stream. And now he streams kind of. I don't know if he still does. I haven't talked to him in a little while. He usually only calls me when I'm playing Diablo 3. He's like, hey, can I know some stuff? Oh, you're only, you're only Paragon level 10? I'm level 60. And he's probably like a hundred by now because he's just crazy into Diablo 3 but um I think I'm gonna like bug him to like push me he's like uh work out because he's really big into working out he's a I, I, supposedly he bodybuilds I don't know I know he's in shape but I don't know but I'm gonna bug him to to bug me but yeah you guys keep calling me fatty uh, anyways, uh, my name is Jeremy Dwayne. Hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully you look forward to more, maybe progress videos, um, stuff like that, maybe tips, I don't know. Maybe we could read the book together, and I could go over it. That's an idea. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. I'm going to try to remember to post a link down below to where you can get that book on Amazon, and it'll be... Um, a link that will give me some money. Uh, I don't expect anyone to buy the book, but at least I, I had it set up in the past where you could click it, and if you bought it through Amazon with that link, it would give me money. But I don't think that works anymore. I don't care either way. You could just look it up anyways on your own and not give me money. It really doesn't matter. I don't have expenses. But, um, yeah. So, uh, we will see you later, and thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you subscribe to my channel, hopefully you like this video, and hopefully you left a comment. Because leaving comments and liking, or disliking, means that you interacted with my video. And gives me more money. Money hungry whore. Yay. I don't, I, I really don't care. <laughs> the amount of money that I make on YouTube is very, very minimal. Because I'm such a small channel. Anyways, bye.